Okay, so here's a little update on our engineering project. Um, in the last video, we only had one of the two axes hooked up, but now we have both of them hooked up, as you can see. And we've mounted the accelerometer on the bottom of the platform, and we mounted the basic stamp on the main vehicle chassis. And then we have really thin leads connecting the two. And I modified the software so that it controls both servos as well. Okay, so let's give it a test here. I got this spool of solder which I'll put on the platform just so you can kind of see how it balances. But as you can see, both axes kind of work independently to balance the platform. Okay, so the next step for the project is to uh, actually create the vehicle, the autonomous vehicle, which we're going to mount the platform on. And to do that, what we're going to do is essentially just mount two servo motors, one on the right and one on the left. And then in the middle of the back here, we're going to have kind of just a frictionless wheel that follows the front two. And um, for sensory input for the navigation, we're going to have uh, the ultrasonic ping sensor mounted on top. And that's kind of going to be the eye of the vehicle. Okay, so we've got the wheels mounted on the vehicle now. Um, both the left and right side have the wheels. And in the back, we have a support made for the, uh, the back wheel, which is going to just be like kind of a frictionless ball. So I haven't written the software that controls the autonomous navigation yet, so I won't be able to show you um, the vehicle moving. But uh, the dynamic platform software is still loaded on the basic stamp and as you can see it does a pretty good job of staying level.